This is the garden of three points here in Trenton, also known as the Chestnut Avenue Community Garden. So this has been here for 35 years. In neighborhoods across Trenton, Isles helps manage over 60 community gardens. We have gardeners from all over the world. We've got folks that who grew up in the south, uh, grew up farming and gardening. We have community planning and development, which includes urban agriculture, real estate development, neighborhood engagement, vacant lot stabilization. You pinch that off like that, so okay. you get some nice basil, okay. really prune these back. We talk about the basic plants and their functions. You know, these are the leaves. What do the leaves do? They capture the sun's energy and they transform it into energy for the food. We talk about the plants' interrelationship with the soil and with pollinators like honeybees. We're doing what we can to really educate residents and help build demand for, for fresh, healthy food, whether it's in the community setting or in the schools. Resident Andre Thomas recalls the history of the incubator garden just across the street from the Trenton Battle Monument. When we were growing up, this was a concrete park. and We would hang out here, get in trouble, you know, as youngsters, young teenagers. So when I look at this area, I think of transformation. The incubator garden took about a year to get going. It's peaceful. It's also seeing a process. When you plant something, you, you nurture it, and then you also harvest it and things that you're harvesting you're actually eating or giving away. I find pleasure in that. Abdul Hakim is a participant in the incubator garden program. I love getting into the soil and working with my hands and producing my own food. It's very spiritual. It's tranquility because it's just you and the plants. We're looking at our okra. The okra will take about two months. The gardening is catching on because people want to produce their own food. Those plots right there, that's the area that you need to plant a square foot garden. Not much at all. You can still utilize your yard. Fahima Johnson got her green thumb from her grandmother. Just to see my grandma out in her garden, it seemed like a paradise. She would be out there humming a song and digging and planting, and she loved it. I was born in Tuskegee, Alabama. That's where I learned how to garden. I have tomatoes and I have kale. This is called a curly kale. And then I have collard greens. You pick the lower leaves and leave the center leaves because they keep growing. They're ready to be picked again. Look how thick they are. And they're delicious. I roll them up and then I cut them on a cutting board. I like mine cut up like mama used to do. <laughs> to be outside and doing something I love and watching things grow. It's heaven for me. <laughs> the world would be a better place if we all just loved each other and took care of the earth. Mm -hmm.